All right, I've decided that I am going to put my decorations on top of and around my box after I'm finished carving it out and everything. So I'm gonna do a little video about carving and then I'm gonna show you how to add the flange on. As I'm carving this out, it's a little bit soft inside here. I'm gonna to wanna to save this clay because that's what I'm gonna to use to make the flange. And the flange is gonna be that piece of clay that goes around the upper edge that's gonna sit down inside the lip of uh, this box. So first I'm just going to talk about carving this out so you can see that the edges of this box are about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, and then as I'm carving it out, I want, what I wanna be careful of is I don't want to take this and push this back into my walls. Like if my walls are here, I don't wanna take this as I'm carving out and, and stick back beyond that height. So if you want to just sort of push straight down the bottom of your box, um, I'm gonna sort of pull out to the part where I think, so you sort of wanna, like as you're carving, like sort of feel the depth, like right where I am right now is probably as far as I wanna go, like right in here. Um, I'm probably about this far away from the bottom, so I don't wanna go any further than that. So again, I'm just gonna sort of go straight down to that point and sort of pull to the center, and I'm just gonna finish carving this out, and I will speed up the camera. All right, I'm just gonna slow things down here again. So as I'm going along, I've got like a pretty rough edge here. What I don't want you to do is do not soak this, but you can use like, um, get your fingers a little bit wet and just smooth this out very carefully. I am not soaking it, it is not dripping wet. Um, the idea is that this is supposed to be leather hard anyway. Um, it's gonna take a while for the interior of this to be that way. So what I don't wanna do here is, I wanna be very careful, especially if this is soft, as I'm continuing to smooth this out, I don't wanna press against this and keep pressing without holding my hand on the outside of this. That's important um, because you don't wanna lose the shape because if you change the shape, then the lid is not gonna fit on any longer. Um, so try to keep the sides, like you should have straight sides, flat bottom. Like even if you've got a curved, what you don't want is, you don't wanna have this, you don't wanna curve it out like this. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't wanna have, um, it should go straight down and straight across. You shouldn't have all this extra clay in the corners here. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's nice and even. And then if you have a tool that has a flat edge on it, that's, you can sort of go in there and clean up those I want to call them corners because this is a round thing, but if you have a, a box that you made, like a box shape at, rather than like a round vessel like this, you definitely have corners in the bottom there. So I'm just sort of cleaning things up. I'm gonna to have to go back again later on when it's a little bit more leather hard. Like I said, this is pretty soft. Um, but you sort of get the idea. I'm gonna smooth out the bottom here. You can use one of your, you know, your little sponge or whatever. Um, you know, as you're looking down in it, your walls should feel pretty smooth on the inside here. and no rough edges because um, when they're fired, they are sharp and they will cut you. Um, so, all right, that's pretty good. Um, so let's find that spot. I had made a mark here um, when I pulled my lid off so I knew where that would go. Uh, there it is. So I just wanna make sure that they still fit. Um, if they're no longer sealing together, so you can sort of see gappy edges there, I'm just gonna sort of, you know, feel around with my hands, make sure that everything's still in place, that the lid comes easily off. Um, and I'm gonna carve this one out now. And I'll come, I'll just start the video again when that's done. <laughs> 